What's up everybody, Michael here from High Def Digest, coming to you today with a quick video for anybody that has a long run HDMI cable situation. Now, in the this mostly applies to folks with 4K or who are planning to upgrade to 4K because the bandwidth requirements to run 4K with HDR or Dolby Vision are, are a little bit higher, plus you've got the HDCP 2.2 handshake situation. So if anything in your system doesn't have HDCP 2.2 compliance, it means you're not gonna get to see your 4K HDR material. So whether it be a Roku or Apple TV or Blu-ray player or even other uh, certain types of set-top boxes, you won't be able to see your content. So you gotta make sure that you've got your 18 gigabit per second, 4K HDR rated HDMI cable, and there are a lot of cables that do a great job along short runs, you know, your three to 10 feet. It's not really a problem. Most of the cables that are for sale at Amazon, Monoprice, Best Buy and the like, are doing a pretty good job. But the moment you have your gear separated from your display, whether it be a projection setup or just you've got a display somewhere else, maybe it's a secondary display in the office or somewhere else that you've Anytime you're running a longer HDMI cable, there's a chance for breakdown. Not necessarily because the cable itself is bad, but sometimes it's just the sources. For example, I have a Roku Ultra, which is a fantastic little streaming device, but boy, when you try to run that signal longer distances, you start to get handshake issues, and it'll basically, the Roku will say that I don't have a 4K setup with HDCP 2.2 compliance, when in fact I do. So. Your choices are, of course, for running longer. And when I'm talking longer, I'm really talking about basically the 25 to 35 feet and above. Below that, you're probably pretty good to go with an HDMI cable. And of course, places like Monoprice do sell HDMI cables, slim run HDMI cables that go up to about, I think, 330 feet. And those cost about, um, for that, I think it's about $160. But I've got a new product here from Celerity Technologies. And this is, well, I'm not new, uh, it's, it's, a, it's about a five-year-old company, and this is a fiber optic HDMI cable setup. Now, it is pricey. Uh, it's gonna, this one in particular, this is the 50-foot run, and this costs, uh, I believe, $350, so it's about, you know, $200 more than a 300-foot uh, HDMI cable from someplace like a mono price, uh, but it runs, they basically sell run lengths from 35 feet all the way up to a thousand feet so you can run this to your projector you can run this to your remote display and you won't have any uh, breakup so I'm gonna test this out on my system what I've got going on right now is I've just got a temporary temporary setup where I'm reviewing an Optoma uh, laser projector and I've got the uh, silver ticket product screen behind me and so what I've got right now, it's a temporary setup. I don't actually own these things. I have to return them. So right now I've got a uh, HDMI cable strung up under my rug and I keep tripping over it. And so I'm really excited to try this. Here is the size difference between a 25 foot Rocketfish HDMI cable. That is, by the way, working quite well. And here is the fiber optic cable. Before we get into the setup, let's talk, just talk about the specs again. Up to 1,000 feet with fiber optic, 18 gigabits per second, 4K at 60 hertz, HTCP 2.2 version 2.2, deep color, audio return channel. It will basically do everything. I'm not sure if it does ethernet, but um, I think it does most of the stuff that you'll actually use. And so setup is actually pretty easy. You basically just, it's a directional cable. One end is labeled T and the other end is labeled R. And so you put your T at the, at the source side, whether that's your player or your AVR, and you put the R at your display side, be it your projector or your TV. Uh, and so you run the wire, whether, you know, for me, for my temporary setup, I'm gonna go under the rug. Uh, I could also go under the house because I've got the living room wired for speakers. Let's go ahead and set this up. <music> As you can see, getting rid of the super thick HDMI cable, and you come in and you connect the R to the R, which you see right there, plugging that in to my HDCP 2.2 compliant port, and then you've also got for your source component, you want to connect the USB. 
And there's, as you can see, there's ample room for that. Okay, so we do the same thing on the source side. So we get the T side of the fiber optic and this T HDMI. Plugging that into our source, which for me is the output on my AVR. And you also have an USB power cable here on the source side, but on the T side, it's optional if you don't have this already on the display side. Um, so this is where the Rocketfish cable was. There's still kind of an indentation where we tripped over it for a few weeks, but uh, generally speaking, I can't feel anything with the fiber optic. Also great for those who are living in an apartment or somewhere where they can't install in the wall. This is actually should work out pretty great. Okay, so there you have it. That's installing a Celerity fiber optic HDMI cable. My particular run, like I said, it's 15.2 meters, 50 feet. Um, it was a really easy install for my temporary needs. If you're going in wall, obviously you're gonna have, you're gonna wanna have someone professionally run that through some conduit or install it into the wall properly. But if you're looking at cables that are over 25, 35 feet for your 4K HDR, either projector or display needs, definitely check out the fiber optics. We'll do a review on this cable to see how it works. Um, I'm just basically hoping to pretend that it's invisible. That's my favorite type of HDMI cable, installed and forgotten. And for me personally, since I was running my cable under the rug, to not be tripping over the, you know, the big thick uh, HDMI cable is already gonna be great. My mother-in-law will not kill herself. Oh, wait a minute, should I install the, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, no, um, not, not having a trip hazard for the toddler and for older folks is going to be fantastic. It also looked a little weird. And so this is virtually, virtually invisible on my particular carpet situation. And again, you're supposed to run these in the wall, have a professional run conduit and all that sort of stuff. So definitely, if you have a longer run HDMI cable need for your 4K setup, for your 4K projector, 4K display, definitely check out the Celerity Technologies fiber optic cables. They're not cheap. Uh, this one is 50 foot and it's $350. I think on, um, I looked at B&H photo video for that. Uh, we'll put the links down below for where you can get them and definitely check this out. And we'll be back with a review probably, oh, in a month or so after I clean out all the speaker reviews and uh, projector reviews and all that sort of stuff. But I'm very excited. Uh, and if nothing happens, if I get no error messages, no loss in color, no pixelization, nothing weird, then it'll be an A+, you know, other than maybe the price. So check it out. Thank you so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day. Bye.